First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in Paleo Hebrew, it's Kol, Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahach, Kodash, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth, salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity, in peace, blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this. It says if your pet isn't microchipped yet, you have until February 1st in Houston. Now, um, I got this information from this brother right here, um, Elder Malcolm of GMS, Maccabean Spirit. You know, go subscribe to that brother. You know, he has a lot of um, information that he always brings out that's uh, edifying. You know, I was watching this video. He was talking about this dude, you know, because he was talking about it. You know what I'm saying? And he was just bringing up what, you know, the elders and apostles has always been bringing up that the m-a-r-k of the b-e-a-s-t is this man the uh chip you know what i'm saying and now you know it's coming to fruition and everybody is starting to see that it is okay because they're doing this okay and we know that they play the long game they play gradualism they say they start with animals and then they go to human testing i got this um animal testing as a experimental method for testing surgical procedures before applying them to human patients you know, most of the mice and rats used in medical trials are inbred, so they are almost identical genetically, helping to make the results of medical trials more uniform. And this is what this dude was not uh, not Malcolm, but this dude that he was um, referencing. You know, he was talking about like you know they test everything on animals and then they move it to human trials. The same thing is happening with uh, Elon Musk, um, his Neutralink, his uh, brain chip thing. Elon expects Neutralink brain chip to begin human trials in six months. Okay, and this was in December. So January, February, March, April, May, June. June! There ain't no microchips. <laughs> yeah, man. And I got a lot of other information that I wanted to bring out too right here because not only Elon Musk is working on something, Bezos of Amazon and the Gates of Hell is uh, working on them too. Uh, brain implant startup backed by Bezos and Gates. Okay, this uh, was published on February 18th. It's testing mind control computing on humans. You know, in a, in a Brooklyn lab staff with 3D printers and a makeshift pickleball court, employees at a brain chip interface startup called Sigron are working on technology designed to transform daily life for people with paralysis. And you know, that's another thing, too, you know, because they're going to present this as a miracle. This is what this dude was talking about, like a problem, reaction, solution. That's what they do. And then they come in like the heroes, like order out of chaos. They cause the chaos and then they come in, you know, saying peace and safety. Like, everything's fine. We're, we're doing this to help you to, um, you know, what's that term they always use with that? Like, uh, with Bezos is doing that one palm thing with Amazon. Convenient. That's the word. Convenient. That's the word I wanted to uh, use. They try to make everything and they try to present it as it's a convenience. It's more convenient to do. And that's how they present it to the people. You know what I'm saying? So all uh, all these people, Musk, Bezos, Gates, they all work together, man. It's like Republican, Democrat with these people. You know, Elon Musk was supposed to be some republican thing and whatever man you know we all know they're just devils at the end of the day you know they're working together on this beast system but like this says you know transform daily life for people with paralysis that's how they're going to present it okay like it's it's going to help you when it's going to hurt you now another thing that the brother was talking about you know i couldn't find no um information on this but i saw it you know uh years ago that uh when they was microchipping dogs you know what i'm saying um they was getting sick and getting cancer and there was mad stories about it but oh that's white from the internet now but what we got the scriptures to back us up because that's what you how much of shot said what happened okay this is revelation 16 and 2 and the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the m-a-r-k of the b-e-a-s-t and upon them which worshipped his image so, you know, if you get that, you know, you're going to get mad sores, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get sick. But this is the M-A-R-K of the B-E-A-S-T, man. You know, and these people that take this thing, not only are they going to get sick and they're going to get sores, but they also are going to get killed by the Lord. They're going to get burnt up by the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're supposed to push don't take it, but this world is going to push take it. And they're going to make it mandatory for you to take it. And with this video, again, we already saw what they was going to do when they introduced this J-A-B Okay, this jab, and they said you couldn't go to the gym, you couldn't go to the movies. There was mad stuff like that, especially in New York and Cali. You couldn't go to a restaurant, you know what I'm saying, if you didn't have this, you didn't have that. You know what I'm saying, just like with the uh, Nazis when they said if you didn't have your papers, you know, you, you couldn't go zone to zone. Okay, and this is what they want to do here, this is what they're working on here, this NWO. 
But let me get some scriptures real quick because, uh, you know, it says this stuff with the paralysis thing. Now, it's really just uh, funny, man, that they keep bringing this up with this. Uh, they're going to help people with paralysis and stuff and help people see again, do this and do that. Like, it's really bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They're really out trying to hurt you, man. Because if you take this thing, you basically can't be saved. You know, you're exed out of uh, salvation. You know, because this is something that you have us in shot told you not to do, like, for real, for real. Going down to Revelations 13, and uh, it's right here, man. And deceive of them, okay, that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. And this is what they're doing right now. This is how they are presenting these implants. It's a convenience, you know what I'm saying? And it's a miracle, because what? It's helping people with paralysis. So Yahweh Bush and Michelle already laid the foundation of what these people was going to do and their plans. How they was going to present it. And they have been presenting it this way. You know, saying, yeah, how about some Messiah, man? This is it's just amazing. It says, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Which he had power to do. Because they're in power right now. You saw Edom is in power. You know, these are Edomites. Okay, Elon Musk was an Edomite. Gates and Bezos is an Edomite. They run the world right now. The Edomites run the world. So they have power to do things. Okay. It says, um, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live, that you should worship the image, man. That you should worship them, you know what I'm saying, as gods and all this. Follow into this beast system because it's we're out to help you. Like they always say, you know, peace and safety. But what does it say about that in the scriptures? First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 3, it says, when they shall say peace and safety. And this is how they always present things. You know, it's for the betterment of you. You know, it's peaceful, it's safe for you. You know what I'm saying? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as trefelleth upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. So you shouldn't listen to these people whatsoever. Never trust your enemy whatsoever. Uh, Sirach 12 and 10, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, never trust that enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Never trust, don't do it, point blank period. Okay, never trust what they say whatsoever. Sirach 14 and 7, so it says, and if he doeth good, and that's how they present it, that is for you, it's good for you, okay? This is peaceful, this is safe for you, okay? He doeth it unwillingly, he really don't want to help you. Okay, he's trying to destroy you. And at the last, okay, because he plays the part, he will declare his wickedness. And this is what these people's going to do. Elon Musk, all y'all people that uh, trust in him, he got Twitter. You know, we know he's a, a Satan worshiper. Trump, all you people that believed in him and y'all just, uh, woo, 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 woo. he going to turn it back on y'all too, man. Okay, at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Now, if you go down to Ecclesiastes 12, you know, you jump down. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. So, the same sentiment. He will weep with his eyes, and if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Okay, this is their mindset. It always is order out of chaos. They bring the chaos and then bring in the order. But at the end of the day, they was uh, accomplishing their goals in the back. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. So he'll do anything he has to do. Weep with his eyes, do anything to uh, get, what, get, what, get what he wants. Going back to Revelation 13. Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live. Okay, by the means of those miracles. And, and this is for the people who ain't going to go along with the beast system. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So they're going to want to kill us for not going along with this thing. Okay. They're going to try to lock us up. Okay. They're going to do this, do that, lie on us. You know, you know how the white man does, man. He's a liar. He did it uh, uh, in the slavery. He lied to the people saying we was dumber than them. Okay. To justify his means. Uh, the Native Americans, he said they were savages, so they tried to civilize them. That was a lie. Okay, same thing over there in the Middle East. Same thing over there with uh, uh, Japan when he nuked them. Okay, they lied to do that. Same thing over there with China. Okay, same thing with Russia. Okay, they're getting closer and closer to Russia, and they're saying NATO is uh, uh, peaceful when they're over there, you know, uh, agitating that war. You know, so they're liars. Okay, everybody knows it. So, before I read uh, 16, you know, let's get some more information. Uh, this came out yesterday. It says, Father of the cell phone says one day we'll have devices embedded under our skin. 
It says one day phones will become devices integrated in our skin rather than the black rectangular slabs we've become accustomed to according to a venture of the cell phone. The next generation will have the phone embedded under the skin or the ears. You know, same thing it says, and uh, I'm about to read it in your hand and in your head. It says, Marty Cooper, who credited with inventing the first cell phone in 1973, told CNBC in an interview at a Mobile World Congress in Barcelona on Monday, such devices won't need to be charged as your body is a perfect charger, Cooper said. It says, when you eat food, your body creates energy, right? You ingest food, your body creates energy. It takes a tiny bit of energy to run this earpiece he added. His vision hints at a possible future stage of humanity where our bodies are augmented with powerful microchips and sensors. <laughs> you know. Several startups are developing technologies that seek to combine computers with human brain. For example, such as Elon Musk, Neutralink. And I've got uh, Gates and uh, Bezos is working on this thing they're working on. Cooper said the smartphone today has gotten too complex with numerous applications and a screen that doesn't suit the uh, curvature of the human face. Whenever I make a cell phone call and don't have an earpiece, I have to take this flat piece of material against my curved head and hold my arm up in an awkward position, he said. So <laughs> it's always convenient, man. I got to raise my arm up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, especially with, uh, where's that, where I put this love music? You know, oh, I got to pull my card out of my pocket in my wallet. I just uh, slash my hand across the device. So this is how they, bro, that's like, they're all working together. They all got one message. They pushing their, the image of the beast, the, the beast system. This is what they are doing, man. They all talk the same. Okay. All say the same thing. Wrap it up in a different way. Fucking devils. Okay. So I don't need to read no more of this. You can look this up yourself. So yeah, we at that time, man. Revelations 13 and 16 that he calls the fall. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive the M-A-R-K in the right hand or in their foreheads. We've got two examples. Boom. The microchip implant that lets you pay with your hand. You can look this up on your own time. Okay, so let's keep reading our revelations. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. Say if he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you ain't going to be able to buy anything. You ain't going to be able to participate in society or do anything without these things that's going to be made mandatory in the future okay like i said you can look up all these implants but the main ones you want to really look up is the rfid chip okay the one that goes in your hand because that's going to be made mandatory and whatever elon musk and bill gates and uh bezos is working on okay whatever this dude said that made the phone supposedly okay it just is what it is we're coming into the time of the end okay this is last day's prophecy. Okay. And what's going to happen if you take these things? You know, let's get it. And the third angel, Revelations 14 and 9, and the third angel followed him saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Call the law. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rahach Kodash.